everyone. It's Marty here again with SA Counterculture, bringing you some more cool people of San Antonio. Today in studio, we have the lovely Jill De La Cruz, uh, <laughs> whose work is also known as Jill DLC Art. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Hi, Jill. Tell everyone hello. <laughs> um, so you've brought some of your pieces, which are magnificent. They're oh, very, very you. beautiful. Now, let me ask you, I know most of us as kids, we draw, we doodle, we paint, you know, when we're young and mm -hmm. that's it. When did you, your art career really take off? Um, well, I probably say maybe about like five years ago I started taking it really seriously. Before that I was kind of just, you know, I would just kind of doodle on my sketch pad and didn't really do anything with it. Um, and then it wasn't until when I went to school for graphic design that I kind of started taking it more seriously and also incorporating uh, the digital digital artwork along with the oil painting as well. Okay, so it's a digital background with your mm -hmm. own artwork on top. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. That is really cool. So now I noticed that all of the subjects of, of what you've brought in today are female and mm -hmm. they're pretty sensual. Is there yeah. a reason behind that? Uh, well, sexy talk. <laughs> <laughs> High five. <laughs> Uh, it's because they're fun to look at and they're they're really fun to to draw and and to paint and I enjoy it and I'm more familiar with the female form than the male form and I honestly think it's more pleasant to look at. That's so. what I was going to ask yeah. next. What's your inspiration? Is there anybody in particular, any other artist, or any particular um, female that mm -hmm. maybe inspired you to take that route? Uh, yeah, actually, there's a lot of um, I, I'm heavily influenced by a lot by a lot of uh, California artists like uh, Amy nice. Soul and Audrey Kawasaki and Camilla de Erico and uh, I'm also oddly enough like a um, <laughs> influenced by like National Geographic and oh, that's awesome. yeah <laughs> so I'll watch one of those and be kind of like oh that's a cool animal let me incorporate that in a piece and add on a naked woman <laughs> that, there you go you yeah. gotta love the combination yeah <laughs> who wouldn't well um, your frames like those are absolutely oh, gorgeous uh, did you always present your artwork that way Cause I think it really makes an impact mm -hmm. on your presentation mm -hmm. so is that something you've you've always done or just uh, recently started I kind of just recently started it um, before the the palettes were the first things that I kind of started doing and then um, when I incorporated the graphic design um, it's kind of boring just to have it on a plain print so I would start considering framing my artwork and I, I really think it kind of upped it up you know a little bit it most it certainly little, did yeah, yeah it looks a little great more professional. <laughs> definitely want one in my apartment <laughs> Um, now, do you ever do live painting, or do you only display your stuff at these events? Um, I just started doing live, live painting, but I don't really like to do it that much because I'm such a slow painter. I'm, I'm super slow with my work, so it'll take me like sometimes a month to get one thing done. Right. And I, I'm kind of like I have to be in the right state of mind. And um, but I, I have done it a couple of times doing live painting, and I actually really enjoy it. I never get to finish my artwork though. Right. But, well, but you're, you're really probably fun. a little bit of a perfectionist, and yeah, and yeah. that's awesome. I mean, your your work is very detailed and very intricate, so oh, I can thanks. see how <laughs> how it can take a while. Yeah. You know. <laughs> now, if um, someone wanted to to see your stuff, possibly purchase a piece, mm -hmm. where would they go to to find you? Um, well, I. They can contact me on Facebook. I'm Jill DLC Art on Facebook. I also have an Etsy store uh, online, and I think my um, I think it's uh, if you just search in Etsy under Tumble After, it's all one word. But um, they can buy my prints online. I have smaller mini prints, and then uh, I'm also putting up the larger full size prints as well. So awesome! Mm -hmm. Now y'all definitely have to go and find these pieces because if <laughs> not, I'm gonna buy that one first. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about uh, any shows coming up? Um, I think I believe I have one on the 8th at the Corova for the Art Attack show. Okay. Um, yeah, 8th so of June at yes. Corova, downtown Martin Street. Yeah, I will Definitely be <laughs> check it out. Now, what's your price range for a piece like this if somebody wanted, wanted to put up a piece on their wall? Um, it kind of varies. The smaller palettes, uh, I think I have them marked for, for 80, 80 a piece. Uh, the prints kind of vary. I, I know this one was uh, 200 framed, and then I also sell it 150 unframed if they just wanted the, the print and you know put it in their own frame. Uh, but definitely the the oil pieces are a bit more pricier. I mean, this one is probably like 500 maybe. Yeah, definitely <laughs> yeah. worth every penny. That one yeah. is absolutely gorgeous. I'm eyeballing it. So if y'all <laughs> don't beat me to it, that's going on my wall. 
Awesome. Well, it was a pleasure having you here today. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> See you later.